Well, that looks like a great landscape for Central Texas, water-wise and beautiful at the same time. Now we're going to turn our attention to more topics about native plants, and I'm joined by a mysterious figure, or one of a number of mysterious figures. I'm joined by Barbara Medford from the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center, who is a volunteer there and is uh, one of the Mr. Smarty Plants. Oh. Uh, the, uh, there's actually a team of Smarty Plants, right. but you are the voice of Smarty Plants. Well, today I am, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, there, there are about 15 people over here in this chair, the, the team, mm -hmm. and we all, we interact a lot, we share a lot of, we go back and catch other people's okay. old answers and that sort of thing, but it's, it's more fun than anything, really. Mm. Right, well, for those not in the know, uh, they're missing out, I know this, but uh, for those not in the know, Mr. Smarty Plants is a feature that the Wildflower Center has on uh, the w their website, mm -hmm. wildflower.org. Right. And people from almost anywhere in the world can send you, say, a photograph of a, a flower they can't mm -hmm. identify or a question about their plants, right. and you all try to help them out. Well, we try to help them out as much as we can, but of course, because we are proponents of the native plants mm -hmm. of North America and of the area where that plant's being grown, mm -hmm. we can't always help them. Sure. And we get a lot of non-native questions. Sure. And a lot of non-native IDs, which of mm -hmm. course are harder still for sure. us. But we try to do what we can, maybe link them to a website on that plant mm -hmm. or something like this and try to explain to them mm -hmm. the reason why those non-natives are so important. Mm -hmm that we don't use them, but the sure. natives are so valuable to right. us because they're, it, even one native plant, it puts out the same oxygen that the other plants do and is very attractive, but it uses less resources. Mm -hmm. Our whole message is conservation. Right, right, and well, that's the beautiful thing about the use of native plants. In addition to uh, their obvious beauty as well, mm -hmm. you know, the, the physical beauty of these plants. We have uh, uh, such a wide range of wonderful garden specimens to work with here in Texas. And, and so it, it, it must be a labor of love for you and the whole team. Well, it is. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's give folks an idea of the con uh, the numbers of, of uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to have to read from a note because uh, okay. these are numbers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm with you when it comes to numbers. Okay. It's like, <laughs> all right. All right. So how, how, what, generally, how many questions do you think you all have answered so far? Well, we know almost exactly. We've okay. had nearly 5,800 as of this morning. Wow, 5,800, uh -huh. and, and counting, obviously. And counting all the time. <laughs> okay. And spring is coming. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, it first started appearing online in August 3rd, 2001, mm -hmm. but it started up very slowly. Okay. You know, I mean, people hadn't heard about us. In 2010, this mm -hmm. past full year, we had about 550,000 people read Wow. Something just from the Mr. Smarty Plants site. We're not talking about the whole website. Okay. Just our this is the Smarty Plants Empire you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like sometimes. Well, that's and great. The people read something like two and a half million questions. Wow. In that one year. They were reading, obviously, several questions, mm -hmm. and lots of people read questions. So that. Is that something to be proud of? I was, it's a little frightening. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here and saying things, and I don't know what I'm doing. And here's somebody in. Now, don't tell people that, Mr. Plants. <laughs> I'm clear about that. I got to look it up ordinarily. I, I don't know these things. Uh huh. Um, the readers came or mm -hmm. come from every state in the country. Okay. Every one. Uh, there are more nine, more than nine thousand U.S. cities and 157 foreign countries. Wow. That's very, so, very impressive. Right. Mm -hmm. we, that we get around. Mm -hmm. The strange thing, and this would be of interest to the Central Texas Gardener, only about 5% percent of them are from Austin. Really? Yes. I guess that, they just kind of know these well, things. Well, we, we need to work on that, folks. <laughs> yeah. send, send Mr. Plants more questions. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> we're, we're here. Um, of, of that 550,000 visitors, mm. about 420,000 came through a Google search, ah. which is kind of interesting because I use Google a lot to find answers when I'm working mm -hmm. on it, and darned if I don't get my own answers back on Google. <laughs> <laughs> and so I figured, well, if I was right that time, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
kids. <laughs> well, that's a lot of questions to deal yes, with. Yes, it is. So it's, it would be easy for, I would assume that you could, it would be easy to forget. So yeah. So there you right. go. So what are some of the most popular questions that you're getting? I would say that probably blue bonnets mm -hmm. are number one. And that's just as a guess, but I think we had about 190 something. You know, you can search our site sure. on, a, on a subject, which I wish people would do more of because mm -hmm. we get a lot of repetitive questions. Right now, and beginning actually in July, it seems like people want to know when's going to be the peak of the season. Uh, when can my wedding be in the in a blue bonnet oh, field? Okay. Um, I, I have visitors coming from England. When can they see them? Mm -hmm. The other question we get about blue bonnets is what I call one of the wrong place, wrong time, wrong plant questions. Mm -hmm. They want to grow them in Afghanistan, <laughs> England, Germany, Wisconsin. <laughs> my latest one was from Stan, California. Uh -huh. The young lady was from Houston and wanted to have a little bit of Texas in her yard. And her question really wasn't, can I do this? Her question was, what's the schedule? When should I be planning this? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I did answer her question to mm -hmm. the best of my ability. But I said, you know, you can lead a seed to dirt, but you can't make it grow. <laughs> well, and that's more very wise. true with, wild, with blue bonnets than just about anything. It's endemic to Texas, and it really doesn't like it anywhere else. Well, and, you know, the, and that's why the, the whole re reason the uh, Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center exists is to steer people towards using plants that are exactly. appropriate for their, for their place. place. And uh, blue bonnets are very appropriate here in Central right. Texas. Grow very nicely. No, right. Don't need fertilizer, don't need watering. Mm -hmm. they, they've gotten along for millennia on what they get here. Right, right. Now, um, have there been any questions that have absolutely stumped you that Mr. Plants is just not, the whole team has not been able to? Yes, and it usually it's something very technical or scientific. Ah. And we suspect that it's someone that needs help with their homework. <laughs> and so uh, if you po poke around enough online, mm -hmm. you can usually get a clue at mm -hmm. least. Mm -hmm. uh, someone asked for seeds of a particular plant and that I didn't recognize at all. So I got online on that and found all these websites mm -hmm. on it, you know, all these links on it. Turns out it was curare. And the same person in the next question asked for uh, death root or something, mm -hmm. a, a, an arrowhead okay. thing. Mm -hmm. And so I figured out that what they were asking for was some way to kill somebody. And oh. I said, we're not in that business. No, I, well, that's good. <laughs> Find another hobby. <laughs> so yeah, so we, they're we, searching we, for poisons. Okay, we, we well. Hit, yeah, we hit things that we either can't answer or don't want to answer. Okay. And even go so far sometimes as to answer that question by a direct email mm -hmm. and delete the question. Well, let's let's turn to sunnier subjects. Right. <laughs> the, what, the, the thing that I really like about um, the Mr. Smarty Plants online, as well as the feature on the, our Wildflower uh, Hour radio program, is that it, it really gives people kind of an easy gateway in um, to the exactly. whole world of native plants. That's our really the whole purpose for Mr. Smarty Plants. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like the, the shill out in front of the snake oil mm -hmm. salesman's tent, you know, mm -hmm. come in, come in, come in. <laughs> and once we get them in that way with a kind of a, we talk to these people, or that's right. how I feel about it. Exactly. That's part of why I enjoy it so much is, I could still sit at my computer in my pajamas, <laughs> but I, I'm talking to people from all over everywhere. That's wonderful. And so then they they discover us, as it were, mm -hmm. and start answering some of these questions for themselves. Exactly. Either on our website, I hope they're on our website, mm -hmm. or somewhere else, but they or get the idea. directly in their own gardens. Exactly. And, and that's that's the point, is mm -hmm. to start making the change on the ground in people's backyards. Make your decisions right there. All right. Well, Barbara, it's a real pleasure to have you Thank on Central you. Texas Gardener, and uh, I'll be visiting with you on Saturday, Saturday morning, morning on yes. the Wildflower Hour. But uh, thank you so much for stopping thank you, by. Tom. And uh, I've enjoyed our, it. And our best to the whole Smarty Plants team. Thank you. All right, thank and you. everybody at wildflower.org. And coming up next is our friend Daphne Richards. Mm -hmm.